Hello and uh, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, ranking. Now, uh, we all know how ranking works. There's a rank x function, but this, this has a caveat here, which is how do I enable ranking when I have row level security? Uh, so let me actually explain the problem statement here a little. Now this is a simple dashboard. I have sales by manufacturer on the tree map and sales by state. And then I have uh, the states ranked by sales, right? Um, and I have row level security enabled on this uh, dashboard. So if I go to the model, I have a user table, uh, which is uh, connected to the user state. Uh, basically, each user has, uh, let's say each user is a salesperson, they are uh, allocated a state or a territory, and uh, that is has a relation with geography, and I have security uh, enabled for that, or the check mark apply security filter in both directions. All right, um, so just uh, if we want, like, we can look at the tables here. We have the user table, there are three users, and if I go to user state, each user has um, been assigned a state. Now we'll talk about the user index uh, column in a little bit. So with this, now I uh, now this is as an admin. If I log in, I can see the rank of all the states. Let's say I log in with uh, one specific user and see what happens. Right? Go to modeling, say view as, and. Here we log in as user one, all right? Now, as soon as I log in as this user, so user one, if, I, if we go back to the data view, has got access to just the state of Tennessee, right? So security is being applied. So if I go back to geography, because of the way the security is applied, I see only Tennessee data. And um, so if I go back to the visualization layer here, now I see only data for Tennessee and Tennessee will always be ranked as one. But as an end user, as user one, I, sh uh, I should not be able to see the revenue for other states, but I want to see the ranking of other states, right? How the other states are ranked and how where my state is based on that other states. Right? I don't want to see Tennessee as one all the time. So how do I go about doing this? All right, so let's go, I'll uh, stop viewing uh, as the user and let's go to the model area here. The first thing I do is I uh, go to the relationship between the user state and the geography. So these are related by the state uh, column. So if I double click and I'll disable security, right? So that's the first step. Next, I go into the user state table and I just add a simple uh, column which says is equal to one. So I just add a column with one value of one throughout, right? Next, what I do is I uh, change my rank calculation uh, with uh, which is just right now, I'm just ranking all the by state, I'm ranking the sales. I'm going to change that here. And now I'm going to say calculate rank X and I need to use this all user state. We'll, we'll get into that a little bit, all right, in a little bit. Okay, so now I've done that. The next thing I want to do is I go into this filter section and I've added user index as a filter on all the pages and I'm going to select this as one. So now if now notice that because I've just got three uh, states uh, assigned to three users, I see only three, three columns, which is fine uh, for now. So if I now view this as a user, as an end user, as the same user one, Let's see what happens. User one is at test.com, who's our test user. And this user has got access to Tennessee. Now you see the sales, uh, the revenue information, this person sees only Tennessee, but you can see the ranking of uh, all across all the states. So you don't have, so you're still hiding revenue, but you're seeing the ranking um, and then uh, Cross filtering works too. So if I click on one hour sale, the ranking uh, changes. Now Tennessee is ranked 10, and overall Tennessee is ranked 9. If I click on Natura, now Tennessee is ranked 6. So as an end user, now I can see my state's revenue. I can see how um, I'm ranked compared to all the other states. Um, so the key thing is this user index, right? Uh, this is, uh, if this is 
disabled as one. Now the user can see all the revenue. So what you need to do is add this filter on the page, uh, make sure it is one and hide this from your end users, right? So this is really a hack. You're, you're, uh, you, you are disabling the row level security and you're kind of enabling security using this user index. So you gotta be careful try to hide this, um, make sure you hide this uh, user index from the end users, otherwise they'll be able to see all the data. So what, what's happening here is now if I go to the data view, the security is applied on the user table, there's just one user and um, the user state is visible. But if I go to geography, all the uh, states are visible and which flows to this, uh, the fact table and hence it can actually calculate the rank across all the states because we disabled this uh, security here, um, we disable the security, right? So this is a workaround. Uh, and of course you need to make sure you change the calculation so that it works with this all, all index. It, uh, so it works across all the uh, user indexes, right? All, or rather all the user state table. Um, so these are the tweaks you need to do to get this to work. Uh, but keep in mind, this is really a hack uh like i said before this user index column uh, filter is key hiding it is key so hope hope this is helpful in certain scenarios um, and uh, if you've got any comments please leave them thank you